All right, so let's jump into this video and talk about our gear shift feature we're gonna be working with in our PC Link software. So if we have a synchro transmission, an H pattern dog box transmission, or a sequential transmission, we're able to utilize this gear shift feature to allow us to do full throttle shifting. Now we can implement this in a couple different ways. We're gonna be finding on a synchro transmission, we're gonna be using a clutch switch, and that's gonna allow us to hold our foot to the floor and simply clutch in with the clutch pedal and then pull to the next gear. If we're in an H pattern dog box or a sequential, we're able to implement a strain gauge. That's gonna allow us to do clutchless upshifting so we don't even have to hit the clutch pedal at all. We can simply just pull it into the next gear and it's gonna allow us to make very rapid, very quick shifting. So we're gonna be using this on all kinds of different applications, whether it's gonna be drag racing, rally, or even uh, a road racing. So we're gonna be finding all kinds of different purposes for gear shift and applications depending on our transmission type. I'm gonna be walking you through what you need to know in order to implement it on a synchro transmission and a dog box and a sequential transmission so you're able to use this in your tuning. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our gear shift feature in our PC Link software. This is gonna be something that we wanna implement whether we're gonna be on a synchro transmission, a H pattern dog box transmission, or a sequential transmission. Now we're gonna be finding all kinds of different levels of control when we're going to utilize this feature. So we're gonna to have to go in and go through a lot of different things and a lot of different configurations so that we understand what's gonna be better suited for a particular application that we're trying to control. So whether we're gonna be on a synchro transmission, we're gonna be setting up things completely different than when we're gonna be on a sequential transmission. So the very first thing we have to do here is create a page dedicated for our gear shift. So I'm gonna go up here and right click, new page, and you'll be calling this gear shift, and click OK. Now, the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at, or the first example, is going to be using a basic clutch switch. So we can use a clutch switch for the gear shift control on a synchro transmission or on a dog box transmission. So if we don't wanna add a strain gauge to our shift knob or to the actual shift lever when um, we're going in and trying to use this feature, uh, we're gonna be just simply using a basic clutch switch. Now on a synchro transmission, you're not gonna use a strain gauge or a strain gauge shift knob or binding a strain gauge to the shift lever. That's not going to be uh, able to be used because you're not able to shift a synchro style transmission uh, without using the clutch. That's gonna be something you can only do in a dog box or sequential. So we're gonna be running our first example here based on using a clutch switch. So let's jump into ECU settings here. Under digital inputs, I have my clutch switch wired into digital input one. Double click this, we're gonna be seeing that under the function, I have it under clutch switch, label clutch switch, input latch off, pull up resistor on, on level low active edge falling. So I've wired in a clutch switch that's going to be a ground input to pin D1 on my link Thunderbox. And every time I go into clutch in, that's going to tell it that it wants to turn on this feature if for the gear shift to work as long as it's meeting other conditions that we're gonna be programming. So in order to test this out so we understand if this is working or not, if we click F12, jump into our digital, we're gonna be going here and seeing the raw status so that we know if our actual clutch switch has been wired correctly. We're gonna be going under digital input pins. Digital input one, we can see it's designated as clutch switch because I've labeled it here clutch switch. If I go and I clutch in, it goes to the on status or active. If I clutch out, it's gonna go and turn off. So now we know it's wired correctly and it's going to work for our gear shift function. So we have to make sure that we've set up our parameters like this for our clutch switch. Now, if we're gonna be setting on a 12 volt input instead of a ground input, then you'd go here to the on level, you'd set it to high, and then you'd also set your pull-up resistor off. You may have to set, set your activation edge to rising as well, but you're gonna have to test it. Again, you're gonna clutch in, it's gonna see active, clutch out, gonna go off. Pretty straightforward. 